AI is impacting all of us. In terms of why that matters for education, there's two dimensions to this. The first one is around how we can use AI to actually support learning. That's both from an educator's perspective and also from a learner's perspective of how they can use AI to actually support their learning activities. Beyond this, AI will also change jobs. And because it will change jobs, it will change the skills and the competencies that our graduates will need. And obviously that will have an impact on the aims and the outcomes that we want from our programmes. AI is an important tool for the student experience in education because it brings in that flexibility, the adaptability and inclusivity that's essential to drive student success. By having a person-centred approach to developing our strategy, it was really important to build trust, to build capacity and to overcome some of the challenges individuals faced when they considered AI within the education setting. Initially, we selected the toolkit and got involved with the project because we felt this would help us think about how do we approach AI in education and how do we do this broadly, taking into account a wide range of different factors. The JISC Digital Transformation Framework is a, is a toolkit made up of templates and action plans. It's also made up of a maturity model, which we used. Um, so it was focused on digital and we adapted it to make it more AI relevant. The maturity model was very comprehensive and we had to make sure that we were um, engaging with the right people. We had a joint QUB JISC event where we had you know, members from our senior leadership team, we had um, students there, we had staff from all different departments across the university. Having everybody together in one room to discuss it, it allowed for questions. It also allowed our senior leadership team to, to buy in, to hear about you know, how important AI was going to be for the university, how important it is to encourage you know, our staff and our students to adopt AI. Um, it also gave you know, everyone the opportunity to hear each other's views. For students, what really comes into play there is this back and forth conversation where we have these kind of needs and desires and outlooks for AI. And the university says, I hear you. And this is how I feel like we can actually shape that within our policies and our legislation going forwards. By showcasing some of our pilot data, with our Board of Governors, they could see the transformative difference AI could make in the education sector and were really engaged and interested in the direction of travel we were going. We want to encourage our staff and students to embrace technology and you know, we want to make sure that staff and students are, are open-minded, are willing to adopt change. And The digital transformation framework has been really effective in, in opening up that dialogue between staff and students and between ourselves um, as, as sort of you know, leading in digital and AI implementation across the university. Just being able to engage with what are some of the common principles that we all want AI to be able to do for us. It's really this foundation that we want to continue to build university and academia on top of. If we hadn't got involved in the just digital transformation framework, we wouldn't have had sort of that structure or, or that opportunity to engage in that dialogue, to engage with the different stakeholders and to um, you know, develop that common language between um, ourselves and uh, the rest of the university. At the heart was our staff and our students because these are the individuals who both deliver education and avail of that education and are most directly impacted by AI. It was incredibly important for us to understand what their needs were and to help support them so that they can use AI both effectively but also responsibly. The JISC framework helped us on that particular journey around the responsible use of AI. It is very person-centric and it does think about values and behaviours. It gave us the flexibility and adaptability to really look at where we were with our digital and AI journey it was comprehensive, it was inclusive, but it also then looked not just at the infrastructure, but the values and the behaviours that are really key and important to embed a strategy successfully. Embedding AI tools into our education processes 
embedding AI tools into our administration processes to really enhance every step of the student journey. That puts the UK and the UK higher education sector in a really strong position to be sector leading and making a difference to the economy going forward.